i got some great questions on my creating a path from csv data video and i wanted to pull out one of those questions into a separate video since it covers something essential in how after effects works that it's important to know about as you dig deeper into the program so that question is is there a way to get an object or shape to follow the path that we create with our csv data and the answer is yes so in this video i'm going to show you how to do that while also diving a little bit into composition space versus layer space let's go for this tutorial, I just created a random CSV, put some random numbers in it just so I could generate a line using the tutorial that I made already, which I'll link down below. So I've built my line using my test CSV data, and I've added a trim path to that line so that it builds on from left to right. But our question is, can we have something follow the trim path, like a dot or an arrowhead or something like that? as it builds on. For this example, I'm going to create an arrowhead because that's something that we're often asked to do as animators. The first thing I'm gonna do is create my new shape layer and I'm gonna add my polygon. I'm gonna make it fairly large just so I can see it. In my polystar path, I'm gonna change my number of points to three because I want it to be a triangle. Next, I'm going to center my anchor point onto my shape. I do that by going to the layer menu, going down to transform and center anchor point in layer content. And I'm going to drag that anchor point down to the bottom of my triangle because that's where I want my pivot point to be. I'm going to rename my shape layer arrowhead. Next in my arrowhead's position, that's where I'm going to enable my expressions. And I'm going to start by creating a variable that specifies the path that we want our object to go along. The first variable I'm going to call path. And I'm going to pick whip down to my path, which is the line that we drew from our CSV data. The second variable I'm going to add is for our trim path, because we want our shape to follow along that path eventually. So my second variable I'm going to call trim path and I'm going to pick whip down to the end value of my trim path. That's where I have my keyframes. And now we're ready to add our expression. And the expression that we're going to use is called point on path. And point on path gives us the X and Y coordinates of any point along our specified path. We also need to tell it what path we're looking at. So we're going to use our path variable here. We're just going to add it to the beginning. So we're saying points on path, look at our path variable. The parentheses here allow us to tell points on path where along the line we want those x and y coordinates. And the expression recognizes numbers from 0 to 1 with decimal numbers in between. So you can think of this as 0 is the beginning of your path, 1 is the end of the path, and 0 0.5 is the middle of your path. And we want our shape to follow along our trim path, so we're going to put our trim path variable into these brackets. But if we clicked out of this, the expression wouldn't work because the point on path expression is looking for a decimal number in between these brackets, and we're feeding it a percentage. So in order to feed this a decimal number that it can understand, we're just going to do some simple math. We're going to divide our trim path by 100, and that'll give us the decimal number we need for a point on path expression. So when I click outside the expression, something went wrong. Our arrowhead is nowhere to be found. If we zoom out, we can see that it's way up here outside of our composition. What's going on here? Well, After Effects is interpreting the coordinates we got from our shape layer in layer space when our arrowhead is in composition space. What does that mean? We know that any composition we have in After Effects the top left corner's x and y coordinates are going to be 0, 0. As we move to the right, the x value increases. And as we move down, the y value increases. Layer space refers to the size and coordinates of the shape layer. It calculates from the top left corner, but of the layer and not the composition. So our arrowhead is living in composition space, not in layer space like our path. The point on path expression is pulling coordinates from layer space and applying them to composition space 
and they're just not matching up. So we need to make that translation or conversion from layer space to composition space. And to do that, we use an expression called to comp. We're going to make another variable here that indicates the layer space that we want to convert. And I'm going to call that my target layer. And I'm just going to pick whip down to the layer that I want to convert. And we're going to do one final variable that's going to indicate what we're converting. And we want to convert our point on path to do that. So we're going to call that our point. And all I do is bring my previous expression up to that variable. And now we're ready to do our conversion expression. So we're going to pull all of our variables together into this one expression. So we want our target layer to convert to composition space. And what are we converting? We're converting our x and y values that we got from our point on path. And if we click out, our arrowhead lands right where we want it to be along the path. And as we scrub through, it's really, really big, but as we scrub through, we know it's following our trim path. I'm going to resize this. Why don't I just resize this down a little bit smaller, and I'm going to orient it along the path. And, to and the way that we do that, right click, transform, auto orient, along path. And it's looking a little wacky. It still needs to be tweaked a little bit to make sure it's pointing in the right direction. I'm just changing the rotation to get at the point the way that I want it to. And if we play through, we can see that our arrowhead is following our path as it trims through. You can use anything as your arrowhead. So say I wanted to have my little happy cloud. Bring my cloud in. It's a little big. So let's bring him a little smaller. And what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste our expression onto my happy cloud. And we can have our little happy cloud follow along our path.